Okay, so buying glasses online? I'm not glasses salesman online. What the heck? Why did I say that for? Oh, flip. Camera's turned off. Is it working? It's working. You want to find out how to buy glasses online. You've come to the right place. Mm -hmm. Before we get into it, I'll go eat this frangipan. It looks so good. I need to eat it. Hold up. Hmm. That's good. Okay. We're going to share those tips with you. They're in no particular order. Not one is a better tip than the other. They should all be considered, or at least some of them should be considered before you get those glasses. Let's do this. So tip number one, nice and easy. Do your research on the website and that company that you're looking to buy the glasses online from. Do a Google review search or just type in the company name and ask for reviews, customer experiences, and try and get an idea of what kind of experiences other people have had using that company. There's so many companies out there. Some exist for a matter of weeks before they disappear. Others are long established good companies that will give you a good service and a good product and obviously a good price as well. But do your research before you decide which company to use. Very, very easy to do. Probably a good general rule before buying anything really, whether it's online or in a shop, whether it's glasses or a car. Do your research on the company. Make sure they're legit. Tip number two. You've found the company that you like. You've read good reviews about it. But before you start searching for the frame and before you find that perfect frame, go over to their T's and C's and the terms and conditions. Go down to returns policies or refund policies just to make sure you and that company are definitely on the same page. Because when it comes to returns and online products, you'll find some manufacturers are offering no returns. Once you've bought it, you've bought it. They'll give you some kind of store online store credit, but no refunds. Some will give you part refund. Some will give you um, a full refund. So have a look and make sure that you're happy with the terms and conditions of the returns policy, the manufacturer's um, warranty that they're offering and um, any sort of thing like that, that, you know, that could affect you should something go wrong or you decide to part ways and not, you know, keep the product that you may have purchased. So have a look at those T's and C's, very, very important um, because I have heard of and I've seen myself some returns policies are just no good at all. Some even say things like if the product is opened, um, then no return will be given. I mean, how are you supposed to try on a pair of glasses without opening the package? And they say if the packing is, an, uh, is if the packaging has been opened, you can't return it because it's not resellable. I know, doesn't make any sense, but read those T's and C's. Find a company whose T's and C's match with the kind of service that you're looking for and what you expect. They're not all the same. There's plenty of good ones out there. There's plenty of not so good ones out there. Do your research on the T's and C's as well. Tip number three, find a supplier that will give you the option of try before you buy. It's so important that you find a frame that fits you perfectly or as near enough as perfect as possible. There's nothing worse than getting a pair of glasses. They look great on this computer screen. You pay good money for them. You've had the lenses put in. They ship them out to you promptly. You put them on and they end up down here. And you're constantly fidgeting about with them. One is not good for the vision and it's just not a cool look. Okay, my glasses aren't fitting now, what the hell? So try before you buy companies are excellent. It means they care, it means they want you to have a product that you're gonna be happy with. So they give you the option. Some companies, they post out three, four, five frames to you. You can try out a selection of the frames, physically put them on your face. The ones you like, you let them know. The ones you don't like, you let them know as well. You send them all back and then they'll send you your complete prescription order. The companies that don't offer that, 
It doesn't mean that the product won't work for you, but it's kind of guesswork. There's only so much accuracy you can get from dragging and dropping a digital frame onto a digital photo of yourself. There's only gonna be so much accuracy in that. There's nothing like putting a pair on, seeing how it feels. And at least you'll be able to tell, you know, whether it can be adjusted or not as well. That is my thoughts. Try before you buy is excellent and highly recommended. Tip number four. Tip number four is extremely important. If I had done this video and ranked it and ranked the tips according to their importance, this would probably be number one. Make sure that the supplier who's gonna send you your glasses asks for evidence of your prescription. Now why that's very important is because number one, if they supply you glasses without checking that you've had a prescription from a doctor or an optometrist, make sure that they ask you for evidence of your prescription. One, because legally they have to. And if they don't, they're breaking the law. Definitely in the UK, probably in the US, I'm not 100% sure, but certainly in the UK, nobody can make you a pair of prescription glasses without, without a signed and dated prescription from an optometrist or a doctor um, or anybody else who's qualified to perform my examinations. So make sure they ask you for evidence of that prescription. Because if they don't, and they just make you up whatever you've entered online, um, that really means they don't care whether you've looked after your eyes or not. And they don't care about the law. Simple, not really a company you wanna be dealing with. Um, same thing applies for when people buy contact lenses online. If uh, the place where you get them from is just sending them to you without requesting any sort of evidence of uh, your health checks being in date from a doctor or a prescriber, and they're just sending them to you without checking, I'd question their integrity and um, even if they're supplying the right products or, you know, they just don't care basically. Um, all they want is your money um, and whether their product is suitable for you or not, uh, they don't care. So I highly recommend stay away from those companies that don't even care about you providing a prescription. And, uh, and if you've provided a prescription, they should at least make sure that it's signed, dated uh, by a registered practitioner. So they should go on the uh, websites of the governing bodies to see if the person that's prescribed this prescription is actually an optician or an optometrist. Uh, or a doctor and it's not just a made up forged prescription that you you know anybody could have uh, given them to them you could have given to them not to say that you do that but you know it's it's, it's their duty of care to you to uh, to provide the it's their duty of care to make sure that these procedures have been followed and as part of you know it's part of the law you have to do it if you don't um, that transaction is illegal. They shouldn't be, they shouldn't, they should not send you glasses without that. Tip number five, try not to mix and match suppliers. Try not to get a frame from one website and then go over to another website for the lenses, your prescription lenses, because what that does is it nullifies your warranty of your frame that you originally bought as soon as you send it to somebody else to fiddle about with and insert lenses into. Think about it, it makes sense, right? You got a frame from one place, and then when you sent it to the other place, something went wrong with the frame. Now, you didn't pay that second place for that frame. Uh, why are they going to replace it for you? Even if they damaged it, it's hard to prove who damaged it. Or, you know, or it broke and it was a manufacturing fault they're not going to want to replace it because you didn't pay them for it in the first place it's at your own risk um and then they send you that faulty frame back you look at it and you're like oh my frame's messed up um what did you do to my frame they could turn around and say well that's how we received it yeah so you're like okay maybe it was faulty right let me send it back to the other website where i originally got it there you go sir 
there's that frame you sent me. Um, it's uh, look, I've had lenses put in it, and uh, something's fallen apart. They'll turn around and say, uh, "Excuse me, it's under warranty." If we deal with it, you know, you've sent it somewhere. We don't know how they treated it. We don't know what happened to this frame. So, sorry, tough luck. So the moral of the story is, when you buy something from one place and take it somewhere else, wave goodbye to that warranty. It's done. And it kind of makes sense, really, doesn't it? You can't have, like, it's same with, uh, same thing happened to me once, uh, years ago, with my games console. Got it chipped, like an idiot. If I can play dodgy games on it, yeah? Got it chipped. Didn't know something that you're not supposed to do. Everybody was doing it. I was only like 13, 14 at the time. Got that thing chipped. Started playing games on it. Two weeks later, <laughs> breaks. Contact Sony, yeah? Send it in to us, no problem. We'll fix it. We're a great company. You pay us good money. Now we're gonna look after your, your console. So, to get the console, uh, excuse me, this console has been tampered with by a third party and that nullifies your warranty. So, here's your broken console back and uh, see you later. Go and buy another one and don't mess about with it. Ever, yeah? So that's it. Oh! That's it. A few little tips there on how to buy glasses online. Hope it was helpful. Um, if I missed anything out, if you guys got any other tips, put them in the comments below. Like it if you like the content. Dislike it if you didn't like it. Subscribe if you want to see more. There will be more. I ain't going nowhere. And uh, peace out.